Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general reading for April 2022, Sagittarius Sun, Moon Rising, Venus Signs, and Cross Watchers. So I pre-pulled you a card from the Angel Answers Oracle and you received improving health. So physically, spiritually, mentally, and emotionally, you may be working on your health and your well-being. All right, I have breathe. Yeah, so it's easy for me to return to the present moment simply by breathing. If I am feeling anxious or worried, I close my eyes and breathe in deeply as I picture myself filling up with white light. Then exhale and envision stress and tension leave in my body. In this moment, I am free to gently stretch and open my eyes feeling refreshed. So I'm definitely seeing you needing to work on your health, your well-being, especially if you have any stress, releasing that. So that is coming up really strongly. All right, so I'm going to pull one card for the main guidance for April and then three for the situation. All right, King of Pentacles and then three more. What is the situation, please? All right, so we have the Ten of Wands, Six of Wands, the High Priestess, and we have the Page of Wands. So yeah, really needing to see, seeing you going within. Really needing to go within. Getting the answers that you are seeking from within. Not everything may be clear at this time, but with the High Priestess, it's a strong message. Listen to your intuition. Especially the Crescent Moon. Not all is revealed at this time. So the High Priestess is more of a moon... Feminine energy, yin. Now, king of pentacles, so this can be very much focused on business, security, property, money, loans, things like that. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Overwhelming feelings, emotions, a lot on your plate with the ten of wands. Whatever you can release, release that. Things are going to shift. We have the Six of Wands. So it is a card of victory. It is a card of good news. And the Page of Wands also can be a message of news coming in, incoming information. Also, it is a message, stay focused on your passions. Where you put your intentions and energy, it's what you're going to receive. So if you're focusing on the negative or things that aren't healthy for you, negative thought patterns that's going to manifest but if you're focusing on your goals and the positives and whatever it is that you do want to manifest then that is what is going to come through but with the six of wands yeah definitely a message of time for the next chapter all right so let me clarify a few cards here i want to take a look at the high priestess and this could even be the high priestess could be like someone in your life who is this person. They represent the psychic, the unknown, the ability to see beyond the veil, to enter the other dimensions. So let me take a look at the high priestess energy. Let's clarify that. Let's clarify the high priestess, please, for Sagittarius. Could be lots of psychic messages. If you're feeling something, you're getting messages about something, pay attention to that. Interesting. We have the Hierophant. All right. So there's definitely a message of stay focused, continue working on your goals, nose to the grindstone. Putting in the effort now is going to bring the rewards later, but I feel like you really have to stick to the book here. Like there's something that maybe you've been following, a way of doing things with the Hierophant. It is a set of beliefs. It's also about doing the right thing and staying in the highest good and the highest vibration, the highest intentions. All right, so I'm going to pull some Oracle cards. I'm going to get some more messages here. Let's see what's going on. All right, three for Sagittarius. Okay, so we have Pisces energy, very interesting. Okay, Sage, yeah, so this is like wise knowledge. 
Pisces definitely could be that intuition. Now we have the victim card. So yeah, be careful of stepping into the victim mentality. Like, why does everything have to be this way? Why does this happen to me? You know, we've all been there, but at the same time, if you stay in that mentality, it's going to keep manifesting that energy in. You're living it each day if you continue to do that. So remember, we have this breathe card. We have improving health. Improving health could be also part of the process here. Needing to take a step back with the high priestess. Sage, wise advice. This could come from somebody around you. Maybe this king of pentacles person. Somebody who knows a lot about business for example, somebody who has a lot of knowledge because they've lived through life. Wow. So we have employment change. This also came out for Libra. Your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You're being supported each step of the way. Wow, so very strong message here, especially for those that I mentioned before, really focused on building, you know, business, property, home, finances, things like that. So I feel like there's there's a lot of good news and things coming your way, but I just feel like things right now are not so much in the open with the high priestess energy. So I hope you guys have an amazing month ahead. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is listed in the description box below. Take care.